I have a 1934 USGA Rules of Golf book for sale. Rules of Golf. So this is what they referred to last year when Tiger had that shady drop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> What's in this book is basically the rules of golf as they were in 1934. Obviously, the dress codes changed, the equipment's changed. But at that time, that's what they went by when they played the game. This is pretty cool, man. And you know, people really do collect golf stuff. I mean, oh, yeah. it's from famous players, for golf sure. clubs and bags go for big money sometimes. Oh, absolutely. How long have you had this? Yeah, it's been in my family since before I was born. It was my grandfather's. He was probably about 20 when that came out. Was he a big golfer? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. amateur. Oh, so he probably would refer to this often. Yeah, back then they wore knickers and, you know, steel spikes in their shoes and uh, suit and tie. <laughs> suit and tie? Oh, yeah, they used to play with jackets and ties. <laughs> <laughs> Golf has been around for hundreds of years, and it makes sense. You ride around in a golf cart while someone else carries your clubs, and you're just chilling with your dudes, and there's a snack cart. Count me in. Let's see here what we got here. Rule number 25, hazards. When a ball lies in or touches a hazard, the club shall not touch the ground, nor shall anything be touched or moved. That's it. That's yeah. pretty much how a hazard works today. Oh, yeah. There's a lot that's still the same. The actual playing part of it's probably very close. So what did you bring it down here for? I'd like to sell it. And how much were you looking to get? Um, I believe it's worth about 400. 400, um... They actually started coming out with this book in 1908. Yeah. I haven't seen one from 1934. It's pretty significant. In 34, that's when um, Augusta National was founded by Bobby Jones. Well, Augusta's the golf course, but I think the Masters is the tournament played on Augusta, right? Right. But... There was a lot of these printed by 1934. And as cool as it is, you know, books yeah. aren't really worth much after the first edition, so I'm pretty sure the 1908 is the only one that I'd even be interested in if you had it. You know, if this had the Augusta Club on there, then I'd be like, oh, this is amazing. This is a rule right. book from Augusta from the first year that the course was open. It's a cool piece, man, but I'm just gonna have to pass on it today. Hey, that's fine, no, no problem. problem. Hey, I thanks for bringing it in, brother. No problem, All take right. care. have a good one. It's definitely too bad that that book wasn't worth more. But I'm glad it came through the door today, because it gave me the best idea ever. I just have this really cool 1934 PGA Golf Tournament rule book. It gave me the best idea ever. What's that? Golf? We talking real golf? Or are we talking about hitting the ball through the clown's head? Real golf? You know what? Being outdoors could probably do me some good. Heck yeah, I'm telling you, dude, you're gonna enjoy yeah. this. You know what? You should bring Theo. I hear he's pretty good. Maybe he could give us some pointers. <laughs> it's all in the hips, chum. It's all in the hips. I really think you should be out here. It looks like it's a lot of shoulder work, man. <laughs> Since Chum is terrible at golf and I can't play, my dad told me to bring Theo. He's the store's new general manager and he golfs regularly. So if we bring him, at least we won't look like total idiots. Yeah, Chum, uh, Theo's looking a lot better than you right here, man. I'll tell you what, let's make a little bet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If I come within 30 strokes of Theo, I get the rest of the week off. <sighs> Sure, dude. I'm not the slightest bit concerned. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you, chum. Hey, guys, how you doing? What's up, dude? How's it going? I'm good. Looks like you could use a little help. From who? I can help you. You're not near as bad as Charles Barkley, so I know I can help you. <laughs> First of all, you got your foot in the bucket there as you're swinging. Keep your left foot solid on the ground. Okay. Swing at about 60% of your effort. All right, I got this. What'd you say your name was? I didn't. All right. I came along my range here at the golf school and I saw a couple guys look like they were struggling, one of them in particular, so I figured I'd better try and help them. Great shot. Wow. See, that's pretty good. I could turn you into a teacher in no time. Hi, my name's Butch. Chum Lee. Chum, nice to meet you. Have you trained people before? Yeah, I've trained some guys that have been pretty good. Greg Norman, Tiger Woods, now Phil Mickelson. 
<laughs> Two guys. <laughs> we got a comedian over here. He claims to have uh, trained Tiger Woods. How about that one, pal? Before we take any more lessons, why do you say we get this game started? Let's do it. Well, I'll be a caddy then. Uh oh, uh oh. Make sure he gives you at least one throw. Well, that's a big key in this bet, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Now one remember. throw. Do you agree to that, Theo? Yes. Yes, I do. You don't think you can throw it very far, huh? No. Theo, if I'm your caddy, grab your crap and throw it in the cart. Let's go. All right, ahead. I'm ready. When you hit a really good one, you walk over to him, you give him one of these. Woo! Haas, we cannot lose to Chum. You hit it, and then you go. There you go. You ready for this, chum? <laughs> He's been playing a long time. Remember, we got the throw. All right. The throw's important. <laughs> you can throw his ball out of bounds. He just doesn't know that. Uh, hooked it a little. Not too bad, though. Down the left side. But did you cough? What was that? I can't. I had to clear my throat. I couldn't help okay. it. Okay. Come on, chum. Just like the range. Nice and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> that was pitiful, Chum. I made a bet with Chumley that if he comes within 30 strokes of Theo, I'll give him the rest of the week off. But even with a random dude giving him tips, there's no chance in hell I'm losing this bet. Chum, <laughs> all you want to do is get back in the fairway over there. It's all right, we're gaining on it. It's all right, Chum, he's in the sand, he's in trouble here. You're all right. Hopefully. We're still in good shape, don't worry about it. Get over. Yep. All okay. right, Chum. You tend to hit the ball a little to the right, so you want to aim a little left. Good shot, chum. Damn it. Got it on the green. You're the Wait, man, Butch. Way to go, my man. All, All right. right. Corey's going to wish he hadn't bet against me. I don't know who this old guy is, but he's already helping my stroke. I think I'll keep him around. Yes, sir. Oh, no. What are you doing, Theo? I don't want to just run away with it, Haas. All right, chum. Give me, give me that smooth swing now. Oh, Theo. Woo! Easy, chum. It's a lot of golf to be played. Good shot, chum. Nice. Even though chum's playing a lot better than I thought he would, there's no way in hell he's going to be able to beat Theo. So I think this is a good time for the throw. Just throw it back in the rocks back there. Remember the agreement, I get one throw. Right, right. We didn't agree whose ball I could throw. I'm going to exercise my throw right now. You can't throw my ball. That was the bet. Dude. Have fun, you... Theo. Whoa. That wasn't even good etiquette. No, but you got a bad line now. Let's go. This is legal, chum. You're happy about this. <laughs> you agreed to the bet. Theo, the only thing I'm happy about is beating you. OK. Theo's four? This is Theo's fourth shot from after the throw. What? <laughs> How about this? Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Oh, my God! Are you kidding me? All right. Well done. Okay. Chum's actually only down by, like, 28 shots. I can't believe if he sinks this, he wins. Knock this in. You can handle it. Make this sauce. You can handle it, big man. You can handle it. He can handle it. It's a big shot, Chum. Better hope he misses this, Theo. Oh, boy, oh chum. my God! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the rest of the week off is gonna be great, Big Hoss. Good oh, match, right. Austin. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Technically, Chum didn't beat Theo. He still lost by 29 strokes, but a bet's a bet, so I guess I'll pay up. I think I got some potential? <laughs> get over yourself. You got no chance. Let's get out of here. But you said I could beat Barkley.